regret in Victoria. Cycle to oh my God, it's coming! In this episode, we set off south from Watson Lake in order to tackle the incredibly remote but beautiful Cassiar Highway, including a little detour to the seaside town of Stewart. This is now officially the Cassiar Highway. Do you have any tips for filtering water? If you put your legs like this, you are stretching and you are filtering water at the same time. My cool, huh? Yeah. Why have you got your feet out? Because they smell so bad, they need to breathe. This is Jade City. We've heard a lot about this place, namely just because and they have free coffee. What do we have here, huh? You need to be very, very safe. But you can be safe and fashion at the same time. Just taking a break. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Great to you want to have a cabin for tonight? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. What's your name? Stefan. Stefan, I'm Greg. Greg, good nice to meet you. Here. Yeah. Now yeah, just yeah. make yourself at home. Cool. Thank you, man. Right on. I appreciate it. So we were just cycling down the road, and Stefan saw us and said, "You look wet, so I've got a cabin that you can stay in." So it's good to look wet sometimes. Wow. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but it's not raining, which is very, very nice. Three climbs and then it's pretty flat, like 16 kilometers to the grocery store. Flat spot, right on the water. Victoria said she's going to pay me 200 bucks to check her side of the tent for spiders before she gets out. I never see the wind. <laughs> oh my god. No, what? Stop it. Where? Doing some grocery store shopping. Got a nice bag of pasta. I went to check the bags and then I went to the bathroom and then I came back and Greg was still trying to figure out if he wants tea or not. Why it does it take you 10 minutes to the side? I'm just trying to imagine myself in the morning if I would enjoy the taste of wild sweet orange. The daily struggle. Would I enjoy it? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> I think our stove is 
broken. No. The threads have just been um, worn thin. Oh. And now we can't get it on. It's a pretty windy, cold day today. First taste of co-op caramel nut bar. Quite good. It tastes like vomit at the end. Vomit? <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Very gorgeous spot in the hills tonight. Oh, nice. Don't mess with me, okay? Congrats! That is a porcupine. Some German guys just came by as we're making lunch and gave us a bunch of water and a couple of apples. And they, they offered bread. They also offered bread, but in my chronic Britishness, I accidentally declined and I was like, oh no, it's fine, don't worry. We would have loved a bit of bread. And Victoria's very mad. I am very mad. It's raining again. Yeah, if you have a Snickers, everything's all right. Car. <laughs> We're kind of hoping that someone's gonna stop and offer us a cabin, because that's what happened last time. That was a very difficult evening. <laughs> it was quite tough. Quite tough. Um, but now we're safely in the tent and dry. Everything's still pretty soaked this morning. But we're just very relieved that it's stopped raining. We've also realized that it's been 10 days since our last shower. Um, so we smell very bad at the moment. And we've been fantasizing about getting a hotel in Stewart. And the last hotel we got was like a month and a half ago. And we said that we would treat ourselves to a hotel once a month. So I think it's about time. Oh 
my gosh, it's coming. So beautiful, man. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Get back! Go! 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 Go on! Go! Go! That's right! Go on! Oh, you needed to hear me, right? That was very scary. Because when I saw it, it stopped and it, it like went towards me and it, it... Yeah, it was like... That's the first time I've ever had to take the safety off the best break. Quite cool, man. Mmm, so good. So it's now 7 p.m. Uh, a truck has stopped and was like, by the way, three kilometers that way, there, I just saw four grizzlies. And that's exactly where we were planning to camp, so we were a bit worried. And then I asked inside this cafe, and they pointed out that this cabin we might be able to stay in if we can find a way in the back. And then they gave me two soups for us, because they felt sorry for us. What is that noise that you hear in the trees? It's the words from the day, it's the gods, it's the breeze, it's the night that follows the day. I love you tomorrow, so don't go It would do the job. What is that sight that you never did see? The one founded by fathers and scattered by dreams. Oh, that's huge! It's stunning. My neck is starting to hurt from looking up so much. Thank you. That's so cute. The one step, the seed in your bones. Oh, tell me your worries before the world knows. Will you fall upon me with your heart full of light? So we've now actually crossed back into Alaska very briefly for 15 kilometers or so because um, we're making a little side mission to see Salmon Glacier. Right there is where the glacier was. Everything is absolutely soaked. Um, so we're gonna head back down and try and find somewhere with shelter that we can dry everything out and make some food. Absolutely crazy. I am 
Tent out all of our clothes that got completely soaked. Victoria's doing some art. We're very, very happy to be warm and dry. So next morning, we're much warmer and drier and we're heading out of town. We've got a 40 kilometer climb ahead. Back in the bear zone. Hey bear! I just saw a mama grizzly and two cubs right in the road. Yeah, I surprised them. They ran as soon as I saw them. They went right into these bushes. Should we just go? She's sleeping. It's completely dead. It's not. Oh! See? It's sleeping! <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so beautiful. Are you jealous, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. You're feeling better, huh? He wants to go with you. <laughs> This is such a happy face. <laughs> so we've now adopted this pet dragonfly. His name is Lula. Oh, Lula, like my mom's friend. And it's going to be the first ever bikepacking dragonfly. It really likes the bike. John has Mira, and now we've got Lula. She's having such a good time. <laughs> Are you having a good time with Lula in there? We're having a great time. She loves to bike pack. Wow. live a good life. <laughs> we wish you all the best Lula. We just made it to a place called Kitwanga which is at the very end of the Castile Highway. Wanga. Kitwanga and they have um, a beautiful park for people to camp in for free and they've got a nice covered area so we're gonna put the tent right here. We're really missing Lula though she would have loved this. Um, yeah, thinking of you, Lula. We're getting a bit sick and tired of not being millionaires. We kind of want to be able to eat out and stay in hotels, so we've got a couple of scratch cards. Okay, here we need to find three identical price amounts in the same play area. This is my lucky quarter I found on the road. It's got my sadly recently deceased queen on the front. And a caribou. And a caribou. It doesn't get luckier than that. Oh my gosh. Wait. <gasps> no, no. mummies. So it's the last scratch of the ticket and we've got two caches. Cash, cash, cash. Fast cash bonus. If you see any number in there, you win it. Are you ready? I'm ready. <gasps> Ten dollars! No mommy! <laughs> Thirty bucks! 
Oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> You see this? It's coming out the pedal because there's not that in part. It should have this, you see? You see? Oh, yeah. This knife some very bad news as well. What? I'm also missing the same part. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I thought this was the end of the trip. <laughs> Are you crying? 